Hey guys, it's Vanilla here. I am just going to put together some very basic barebone tutorials about how to use the uh, map editor for Chivalry. So first things first, right click, go to launcher, very simple, launch editor, and this uh, SDK front end will show up. You would, you will click on here and you, this window pops up you you know you can make different workshop items I got logville helmets dank village blah 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 anyways uh, you must hit launch editor and this will take a couple minutes to open up so while it's opening up I just my experience with trying to figure out this uh, map editor was a nightmare oh it loaded up pretty quick and so some people have been asking me since I released helmets, which I can open up for you. Actually, uh, just let me do this really quick. New map. So when if I open up helmets, which I, I appreciate the feedback for it, put a lot of work into it, and it still needs a lot of work. So. Um, mm -hmm. apologies for the time so this is what it looks like all the good stuff going on here rain blah 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 fog you can trigger on and off by hitting F la 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 helmets okay you've seen it there it is so now we go back to new map what I want to show you and okay very quick tip if you want to change how fast you move around hold uh, the right button and scroll so if I scroll up it goes real fast if I scroll down it goes nice and slow it's a nice nice little tip to have so anyways how do we begin um, spawn points delete that one you don't need it content browser let me show you this so this is where you get all the content like static meshes for anything any part of the game that doesn't matter right now what we want is to make a spawn point that actually works that we can actually play so what you want to do in the search bar type AOC play you know any part of it click it drag it in and actually let's drag two in or three three is nice so If you want to maneuver something around, you simply click on it and you can grab two arrows at once and move it on the X and Y axis. You can grab, you know, X and Z axis or X or, or is it Y and Z axis. See how it says bad size? It means it's too close to the ground. So I move it back up and I can spawn. So first things first, depending on what game type you want to do, you come up here into view, world properties. This is very important. Default game type, game type for Pi. I love Pi. I'm sure you do too. If I want to do a uh, team deathmatch, I must not click this one. I must click this one for both. And for this spawn point, click on it, hit F4. That brings up the properties. This thing here, you must set, if, if you're doing team deathmatch, you must set it one to Mason, set the other one to Agatha. And wow, you've accomplished the hardest thing ever. And oh my god, it still doesn't work. What the hell's going on? Exit. You forgot to build paths. Build paths. There you go. Mason. Agatha done so if I want to do FFA for this one over here I must uh, don't set it to FFA set it to all come back up into world properties and set the game type to FFA and my paths are built up down here in this corner it gives you a nice little you know notification whether you need to build your lighting or your paths or 
I still don't know what these two are. Anyways, so now if I want to spawn in for FFA, here it is. And see, countdown. Need to count down. And, you know, I can run around and do the things that I do. So, okay, this is tutorial number one, just basic how to set your world properties, your game type, and how to spawn in accordingly uh, with your settings that you've given to your spawn points and the spawn points to use. Remember, content browser, actor classes, AOC player start, drag in, click it, set to all for FFA, set to uh, Agatha or Mason for uh, the team uh, the team game types. 